believe it or not, we were invited to the best to take a look at what we do. We're mostly great boys, but some are great threes. We are the best, believe it or not, we're the best. Film before a live audience. Good morning and welcome to Room 5 Interview Show. My name is Joaquin. And I am Marcia. Today's guest is Mr. Irison. He is our gym teacher at our school. Hello and welcome to our show. Thank you very much. It's good to be here. When you were a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? What, why did you want to be that? Mm. When I was a child, uh, I was a hockey player. I played a lot of ice hockey. Would spend hours on the pond skating all day long, dreaming of scoring a big goal in the Stanley Cup Final. So I wanted to be a hockey player, a professional hockey player, and play for the Toronto Maple Leafs. But, um, so I played for probably 15 years, and then when I was about 15, I also started playing football at school, and during a game, I was tackled, and it broke my ankle. So that was pretty much the end of my hockey career, because I was off for about a year. I didn't play hockey again after that. Well, not competitive hockey after that. So that went my, there was my dream for playing in the NHL. Didn't, didn't really happen, but I'm quite happy with what I do now. When and why did you decide to be a teacher? When and why? Let's see. Um, I probably decided to become a teacher. I was always into athletics and sports and adventure, being outside, being in the outdoors. So I love being outdoors and I love sports. So I thought, how could I combine that? Um, so I decided, well, I'll try and go to school, get my degree, become a teacher, and hopefully teach phys ed. I also love to coach too, so that's one thing I wanted to do as well. And I thought teaching phys ed would be a great way to, to teach and to coach at the same time. What? Do you like, like the best about being a teacher? What do you not like about being a teacher? Mm, let's see. The best thing I like about being a teacher is, especially a phys ed teacher, I get to teach everyone. I know almost all the students in the school by name. Um, I love getting students excited about athletics, about a healthy lifestyle about performing and playing on school teams where you get to represent your school and make your school proud. Um, I love to see how my athletes improve as they go over the year and their skills get better and better. And I love seeing my teams win banners and championships. That's probably the best part about my job. The worst, hmm, the worst is when the attitudes of my students aren't very good. Um, some people, mm, they're a bit lazy, they don't like to work very hard, they're not really all, cons all that concerned about their keeping their body healthy and their mind strong because phys ed is basically very important for that and does that. Helps you keep your body strong and your mind healthy. So when my, my students don't take a healthy and positive attitude about keeping themselves in shape, that kind of disappoints me. I don't like that very much. So that would probably be the worst thing about teaching, is that. What is your favorite children's book, and why is it your favorite? Hmm, my favorite children's book, I would have to say, when I was quite young, there was a book that I used to read, and it was called Mr. Muggs. And it was about a dog, and the dog's adventures, with his best friend, a boy. And when I was young, and I read this book, and I enjoyed the story so much, I asked my parents, could we get a dog? So, we got a dog, it was a farm dog, and it was very wild, and I was responsible for taking care of the dog. So we used to put the dog in the backyard, and we used to drive a stake into the ground, and then we would tie the dog to the leash. Well, this dog was so strong that he pulled the peg right out of the ground, and then he'd start running through the neighborhood, and then I would have to chase him 
and get him back in the backyard. And he was so strong, and I was just a little guy, he would, he would start pulling me around the neighborhood. And I'd be dragging along, this dog would be pulling me because he just loved to run. So eventually, we had to get rid of the dog because it was just too wild. And it was, we wanted to be in, on a farm and running around with lots of space, and we just couldn't provide that environment for it. So we sent him back to the farm. It was kind of very sad. I was very sad about that. So Mr. Muggs and what was our dog's name? Dog's name was Shirley. Big, big dog. What is your favorite children's movie? Why is it your favorite? My favorite children's movie. Hmm. <coughs> well, I like to laugh, and I saw a couple of movies a few years ago when they came out called Madagascar. Okay, and there's two movies that came out, and I actually own the DVDs for them. And I thought they were hilarious. Really, really funny. And I love animals. So, um, I think that's probably one of my favorite children's movies. Do you have any pets? Do I have any pets? Yes. I have three fish tanks full of fish. I have a ball python called Regis. She's about four and a half feet long. She's about 20 years old. <coughs> and when I was teaching in a class, so I taught grade six here for, for many years, and I used to keep Regis in my class. I think, I don't know if any of you may have seen her. Maybe you haven't been here long enough. But I used to bring her to school, keep her in my classroom, and then I would take her around and show her to all the, uh, the other classrooms. Okay. What is your favorite place? To to My favorite place to go to? Yeah. Are you talking like on a vacation or place to visit? Yeah. Hmm. My favorite place that I visited. Um, about <coughs> six years ago, I was off for a year and I went traveling around the world. And my favorite place I started, I went to South Africa where I was born. That was the first time I'd been back to the place where I was born in 30 years. So I went to Cape Town and spent about two and a half months with my family that I haven't seen in three years. So that was great. And then from there I went to Australia and then I went to New Zealand. And I thought that New Zealand was probably my favorite place I've been to so far. It's just absolutely gorgeous, fantastic scenery and wonderful people, very friendly. So I'd have to say New Zealand. What is your favorite toy? Why is it your favorite? My favorite toy? Ah, oh, okay. I know which my favorite toy. When I was about, I don't know, maybe 10 or 11, I begged my parents for this little remote control helicopter. Okay? And it was, it had a small little box and it had a, a, a little cord that was attached to the helicopter and you had controls and it would actually spin, had a helicopter blade and it would actually fly around in a circle. And I would play with this helicopter for hours and hours. And you could move it and stop it and it had a hook on it and you could pick up some people and um, you could pick up different objects. And So I loved that toy. That was my favorite toy growing up. And I always wanted to fly an airplane too. So one of my goals is to get my pilot's license because I've always been interested in flying planes. So that was probably my favorite toy. It was called a Whirly Bird. That was the name of the toy. Maybe you've heard of it. I don't know. It was a very long, long time ago. I don't think they make them anymore. Thank you so much for being part of our show. Well, thank you for inviting me. It was a lot of fun. Join us next time for another interview on the Rule 5 Interview Show.